Hello, hello, hello. I got no uh, VOD channel intro today. Sorry, VOD channel viewers, but welcome. This is probably, and I would hope, the last stream that we'll be doing if we don't do, what's it called? Lonesome Road for this challenge. So we're doing another one. Follow New Vegas without leaving the road. Uh, if you're on the VOD channel, you might want to skip forward just a little bit. I kind of want to cover and talk about the map, the progress we've made. I think I have it up to date, but I just need a couple of seconds here to get some stuff ready. But once again, I appreciate you. Cheers. I think my camera's... No? Is my camera off today? No, I think my camera's okay. Hey, everybody. How are we? Good to see everybody. What color is the sky? Uh, I'm in a basement right now, so I'm not sure. It could be gray, it could be blue, but I would assume because of the season we're in and what the weather has been like recently, I'm gonna go with gray. Uh, the ceiling is white, as are most of the walls down here. It's pretty plain down here where I'm at. How's everybody doing? Do I think I'll continue Random Door Skyrim? Absolutely. Uh, there's a couple of other challenges and just fun ideas and mod combinations that I think will be really great for the uh, randomizer mod in Skyrim. Definitely would like to try more. I gotta update my music folders because I'm not very good at pulling out the right song. So let me just pull it up for you guys here. Thank you. I think you guys sir. can see what's going on. Not the famous one. Thank you so much for the prime. So I think I have the map very updated. It's not 100% up to date in this section because I know for a fact we've gone through a lot of these roads. But I went in here and I updated a very, very informative courier's guide to this map. I, I don't know. I accidentally skipped the song. We had Skyrim music and I skipped it. I don't know why. Either way. So I've marked in green and I've changed the colors a little bit. Some of the zones, we used to really just have one yellow zone here, one yellow zone here, but I've changed the zones. And the way they work now is we've got some green zones here and I've marked these zones green because for us, at least so far, these have been those repeatable locations with some easy XP where we've bounced back to, got some easy kills, got some easy loot, helped keep our character a little bit more survivable. All the green zones are green for go. You will be fine if you go here and you will advance yourself a little bit better. Obviously mark this one as slight danger. We have some orangish circles in here for slight danger. And then I gave this one a big green star instead of the normal small orange conflict star because this was a pretty big fight. You know, we were able to take out some of the Legion here. That was a tough battle. I know what's up here. This orange circle, right? We've There's Cazadors here. It's just... Cazadors. I marked it orange because Cazadors are scary. It means death. It means bad. The red ones, the red circles, I think fairly obvious. Those are all the death claws. I also have a big red circle up here because of the boomers. We got to explore the boomers and then more Cazadors along the highway as you make your way to Jacobstown. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Jacobstown. So we've got most of the roads cleared out. I think by the end of this stream, I do want to try and take out some death claws. I want to try and clear the Cazadors and get to Jacobstown. I want to take out the Cazadors and the high level raiders that are right here. We just got the big 50 caliber sniper. Last time we played, we spent all our money. We put all our skill points into barter so that we could afford as much ammo as possible. Will that backfire because I didn't invest in my combat skills? Who knows? But I figured I'd try and get the equipment as early as I could. So that's about where we're at right now. Your two month old just went down for a nap. That's adorable. Congratulations. You just had a baby two months ago. Congratulations. That's awesome. That's amazing. Cheers to that. Hello, perfect toaster. Thank you, kind sir. Dead by Jules. How are you? Refuge. Thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Jorley. Thank you all. Been watching your stuff on YouTube for a while and have really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd stop by on Twitch. You, oh, thank you for sir. stopping by. I hope you guys got a kick out of the last video that that ended up becoming, in my opinion, it was one of my favorite uh, 
videos I've ever done on the channel. It was a ton of fun. I loved the challenge. The gameplay itself was so much fun. I love that mod. I'm starting to really enjoy it even more. Each time I play it, it gets more fun. Um, but I just think that the video turned out really, really well. In my opinion, of course. Um, but I had a lot of fun with it, and I hope, I hope you guys got a kick out of it. There were a lot of really funny and stupid moments that all just kind of played well together. So... With that being said, ooh, I need to open up my recording software. There's actually a bit. If you guys remember or if you've seen the first stream we did for this challenge, we started in Good Springs. I forgot to record all of that natively. So if I use any of those highlights in the video, which I'll probably have to, I have to actually just use the stream highlights, which isn't a terrible thing. It's just not what I usually do. Let me move around. Get my second monitor all ready to go because I'm a good streamer. I swear I'm a professional. Oh, yes, and I know we have to replace James Corden at 100%. I, <laughs> I hear you. I hear the complaints. I've talked to corporate about it. James Corden will be getting deleted soon. We will be getting rid of him. Let me just check real quick that I can delete the... Did I delete it already? Did I clear space on my PC? No, I did not. Where is it? Where are you? Did it transfer to the folder that I need? I just want to make sure I don't delete the last recording. One, two, three, four. We are okay. It's on my external. We can delete that one. All right, now we've cleared the space. All right, we should be good now. All right. My green screen's a little funky today. What's going on there? Is it this side? Melon, thank you very much for watching the VOD channel. Oh, okay. Now I lost my stream deck. Now I'm... What in the... F hold on. <laughs> hold on. Professional streamer in action. Okay. All right, I fixed it. Uh, I gotta make sure I get the right save. Yeah, right here. Have we really been on this character for 11 hours? We've, re we've really been on this character for a long time. Okay, so... We ended up getting, yeah, anti-material rifle. We've got lots of different ammos for it. I just bought every ammo that the gunrunners have. Armor piercing, incendiary, and regular. I think buying the rifle and all the ammo at once for it cost us about... Okay, I just had to make sure we were actually recording. I think it cost us about 9,000 caps. Can I put Private Reynolds as a co-host? Well, we'll have to do an entire stream dedicated to just the background. And honestly, if, if this ends up being the last stream for this challenge, tomorrow would probably be a pretty good day for it. Because I'll have to start gearing up and getting the next challenge ready. All right, I got to fix my legs. Let me check our status again. We're good on everything. I just have to find a doctor's bag. Or wait, no. I don't need a doctor's bag. I'm smarter than that at this point. Do I like Transformers? If so, who's my favorite? I'm going to be honest. My only real experience with Transformers was when I think I was... Um, I was probably 13 or 14, and my brother, my older brother, he was 21, 22 at the time. He took me and my cousin, my cousin and I to go see Transformers 2 in theaters. You? I still had never seen the first one. And I remember my brother at the time, because this is when this is when Megan Fox was, I mean, she was, you know, the hottest thing going in Hollywood. She was every, you know, young man's 
dream woman, essentially, Megan Fox at the time. And I'll never forget the like opening scene of that movie is just a shot of her very sexily uh, detailing a motorcycle. And my brother like nudges me and he's like, that's why we came to that's why we came to see this movie. And I'm like, really? I wanted to see robots explode and shit, uh, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. Thank you, kind sir. So I wouldn't say I'm a Transformers fan. I'll just say, uh, is it Megatron? Is that his name? I think it's Megatron, right? I like that guy. He seems cool. All right, level 11. Sorry, it's been a couple days since I've actually played on this character. Guns 57 should be okay. I feel bad, though, because now perhaps our grunt skill is no longer as useful. Let's let's redo our class a little bit. The 9mm is still going to be useful in these low-level areas where we can take out some enemies. Or perk, rather than skill. Megatron is the bad guy? Wait, what? I thought Megatron was the good guy. I thought this uh, Decepticon was the bad guy. I mean, we might as well just litmus test our ability. There's the group of Cazadors north of Good Springs we can try and take down. Mods? What happened to chat? Who's playing around with the settings? I lost chat. <laughs> what happened? That's all right. Whimsy did a finger slip. It happens. Chat, revive yourself quick. This could be an easier situation to handle. There's only two Cazadors here. We could try to just see how much damage we do if we are able to hit him with a sneak attack. Oh crap, I forgot Miguel's, uh, I forgot Miguel's pawn shop puts us inside. Monte Carlo Sweets, wait, that also puts us inside. West side, south entrance? We should be close here. Yeah, here we go. Am I doing all right on water? I'm probably close to being out. Yeah, we're out of purified water. But investing in survival has kind of been our saving grace. Ugh, all these cars in my way. Get out of the way. Turns out there are two wood elf sisters who always fight together. Jory, thank you very much. Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, we determined that this was legal passing. We came to the conclusion. It's just, the road is just a little bit buried. It's a little bit shy. Oh, Optimus Prime. That's the good guy. All right, I was way off. Optimus Prime. I'm gonna say that's my favorite. But thank you again, Jory. Whoa. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerobar. Sly Panda, thank you very much. Uh, speaking of Young Scrolls, if you guys haven't yet, I highly, highly, highly suggest going to watch the newest music video that Young Scrolls dropped. It is fantastic. It is, it's one of the coolest videos I think he's ever done. In, in my opinion, maybe it's recency bias. I think it's the coolest one he's ever done, but it is really cool what he was able to do. He did, um, essentially, it's in Skyrim and it's a Reekling trap song. So he just used Reekling goblin language and he turned it into an awesome music video. The song is great. The music video is mind-blowingly cool. There's a lot of custom animations in there. A Reekling gritties. Okay, all right. All that aside, now, now we have to get serious. 
All right, we found the sacked caravan. Not a whole lot going on here. At least they left all their ash piles on the road for me. That's so kind of them. I love when people die conveniently for me. It's like they knew I was going to be here. But there's absolutely Cazadors roaming in this area. I want to make sure I get the jump on them. It feels weird sneaking, though, in the middle of the highway. Who am I hiding from? <laughs> Who's... There's no way I can not be seen here. Damn dehydration. Leave me alone. I don't think I have anything for it right now. We'll be able to find something later. Nuts. Nothing. Thank you, kind sir. I am order. Thank you very much. And happy new year to you as well. Oh, was that it? No, it was just a pixel. Fusion broom, thank you very much. Quijotic, is that how I say it? I appreciate the well wishes and good luck, uh, wishes. But I'm not a gamer, okay? All right, I feel like I've come too far along on this road. If I can't complete this challenge, then I'm not a true gamer. <laughs> this is too easy. Something's gotta give. It can't be this easy. I'm gonna keep following this road north. Maybe there's something in this little barn. Ugh. Can't get a great view of it. Anyone? Hello? Man, this is lonely. I wish I had my tumbleweed friend from the beginning of this adventure. This looks like a dead end. I think we're coming all the way to the edge of the road. Unless there's a reasonable path through? Thought I heard something. Yeah, this has got to be just the edge of the map. Nothing out there. I guess we'll just start taking the way to Jacobstown. Go see what they're up to. Say hi to them. Make a couple friends. Replace James Corden with the tumbleweed. At this point, we've gotten a lot of different suggestions for who the co-host should be. Inanimate objects, characters from our, you know, dumb challenges. I would think that Turkey Stick is probably going to be the most requested. Or would you guys rather have Turkey Stick, the character, from that challenge? Or would you rather have a Turkey Stick? A stick of turkey with, like, stick legs and arms. Well, there's Minkamiko. Did I say that right? A memorial shrine. Oh, a memorial shrine to turkey stick is a good idea. I actually really like that. We could throw it in the back of the, uh, of the set. Like a little candle, put his head in a, uh, in a picture frame. I really like that. Beef. Okay. <laughs> you know, the day I name a character Beef Spatula is the day I cease to do this job anymore. All right, I know for a fact there's got to be something that spawns up here. There's no way I'm lucking out this, uh, this easily. I bought this sniper for a reason. I want to use it. Huh? I mean, it's big horners. I don't know if I would waste sniper ammo, sniper ammo on him. We'll take him out, though. Fifty? F really? Fifty? That seems so generous. 
Hopefully Jacob's down just doesn't open fire on me immediately. Oh, there's a bunch of them up here. I should have come up here a long time ago if it was going to be this easy. Sorry, boys. Animal control? Challenge and the kill XP. There's one more up here. I could throw out some scout dynamite. If I have any. I'm not sure if I do anymore. Look at us landing our shots. I should be using this gun more often. Screw the cowboy repeater. With AHA playing in the background. The only AHA song I know off the back of my head is... Uh, or off the top of my head. It's probably an obvious answer. But take on me. Come on, pal. You got this. You got this. You can get around the rock. There you go. There you go. The damn game's play. It's playing the gore sound effects, but there's no gore. I feel bad for him. They want their head to explode. They want to go out in a blaze of glory. Let them. Sadly, I can't. I'm sorry, Greasy. I don't want to necessarily massacre them all. It's a necessary sacrifice they have to make. If Rhodey is going to be an effective courier, he has to clear out danger. This is the worst gun in the game. Ooh, this is the greatest gun in the game. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Kamiko, this is your first live stream. Welcome. How are you? We're coming towards the end of this challenge, hopefully. Hopefully we don't run into any more roadblocks. I think we've really gone through the crux of this challenge. You know, the majority of it was kind of in the second stream and the first stream. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Damn, those things can move. I really just don't like bugs. Really don't like bugs. Are there any more? Sorry, pal. Sorry, pal. I don't... Sorry. Look, I, it's part of my job. I have to. I don't want Quarry Junction to be difficult. I want to make it as easy as possible. Am I really going to run out of 9mm? I could have sworn I had it unlimited. Ow. That's about enough out of you. Look at that dodge. Look at the agility. That's the kind of ability that's required if you want to be a roadlocked courier. Tuning in from the UK, welcome. Oh shit. Here we go, buckle up. Our first Cazador sighting. Oh, really? You took my XP from me. I can't have that. What are my odds? What are my chances? It's not giving me a percentage chance. Uh, okay. All right, well. I think no chance means that I have the best chance. See? I told you I know what I'm talking about. Don't question my ability. I know what's going on. If I don't like bugs, I shouldn't play an obsidian game. That's a good point. Oh, God, that was... Whew. Thank you, kind I could hear him out of the, you know, side of my ear. That's just creepy. I, ha I hate when you hear creepy crawly leg movement 
and then you turn and your suspicion is validated. Oh, this one is really cute. No, I'm not killing it. No, I'm, I'm not killing him. He's so adorable. How can I harm him? Or her? I, I'm, I can't be too... Look at, look at the... Look. Oh, ow, hey! Come on. They just want to play. It, it's their way of playing. They just get a little bit excited. Come on. Oh, look at that little excited hops. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> They've got the zoomies. Come on, buddy. We're going to Jacobstown. We're going to go make some friends out there. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love that. It's an adorable little hop. Ah, society. I feel like it's far too nice out here. You keeping up, bud? Come on, pal. Come on. There you go. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh, all right. Good. It's about time. This video has turned into like seven separate Nurbit challenges. I just keep taking things to follow me along the road. Wait, hold on. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Don't leave me. Ow! Dick! Mmm. All right, you're lucky I love you. Oh, are, oh, are we hitting the... Are we hitting the edge of your patrol radius? Is that what's going on here? Are you just afraid of the big, scary mutants? All right, fine. I'll come back for you. I just have to go pay a visit to my friends over here, and then I'll be back. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Ooh. Should I go change? Why don't you, why won't you guys like me? A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. I like you, Marcus. Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste. It's kind of scary that Marcus doesn't have any teeth. Or, no, you know what? He's got a couple. You can barely see them. They're, they're real little, but they're right in there. Jackuth, thank you for the prime. I'm sorry I missed that. Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. That's not true. You can blow his head off and they're still going. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. All right. See you. All right, Marcus. You seem like a very interesting fellow, but I'm honestly I'm more interested in just discovering this place so I can mark it off on the map. Ooh. I wonder if we can get close enough. Is it Agatha? Lily, Lily. I wonder if we can get close enough to grab Lily. What even is this? Is this road? Hold on, let's check the map. We'll do a map check. Ah, oh, shit. And I lost chat. <laughs> I had to scroll and lost chat. All right, let's see if we can just do the old... Let's just do one of these. Lil? Oh, that didn't work. Okay, okay, I don't get... I don't know, I only get one warning. Jesus, Lily! They are not messing around. They surrounded me in 0 .2 seconds. Look, there's four of them. All right, we'll try it with the lily just one time. Come on, lily. 
Oh, damn. All right, if I can hold out for a couple seconds, maybe we can get Lily over here. Oh, no, it was right there. I was so close. We just about had it. She closes in so quickly. All right, come on, Lil. It's do or die right here. Block her shots. She'll be forced to go melee. He's reacting very slowly. Woo! Jimmy! Little Jimmy! Got her. My, how you're grown up. So good of you to come visit your grandma. All right. All right. Uh, was Jimmy also a mailman? Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. How much would you have to be paid to kiss Lily <laughs> right after that? Right now, in this moment, just a smooch. I, oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures. But if we're able to take Lily with, ornery, just like I feel like she'll be too OP. Oh, is that it? Talk to you soon, dear. No, Grandma. Grandma, wait. Hello again, dear. Hold on, I have to bring chat back. I lost it. I'd pay her to kiss me. All right, come on. No lying in chat. It's a hard rule. Oh, I just realized the vast majority of people said, yeah, for free. We'll do it for free. I want to say that this road is probably a decent area to come travel down again for, you know, XP. But ugh, it takes a while to get up that road. That's a long run. I kind of want to check out these roads down here. I'm surprised we made it to Jacobstown that easily. And how the hell did we hit that one? <laughs> how did we get that shot off on the Cazador? I'm going to run back to the strip. Last stream, we found out that there's a vendor in New Vegas, so we can buy water off of them, or at least water adjacent fruit and vegetables. Doesn't the building have a road go? Mm, I think it's up in the air. I think it's a tough call. But look, at least we can come celebrate with these folks. Hello, soldiers. Happy to make your acquaintance. If I take off this... Wait, if I take off this disguise, are they all going to attack me right away? Or are they too enamored with these incredible dance moves? Who are you waving at? <laughs> Hi, sexy dance moves. Hello, hey, how are sexy dance moves? Hi, nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> Come here often? What are we doing? All right, okay. <laughs> All right, see you later. Let's go gamble. Go, go, go. Moving at a thousand miles an hour. That's the Vegas lifestyle. Never sleeps. I tell you, last night some girl was pounding on my door. She's tough to grab. She's really close to the. Uh. Wait, what happened to her? Why are why are you like this now? I. Uh. Does she move? Well, she does move, but that's in the wrong direction. I need you to just. Advance one step this way. All right, my heel's on the road. Count it. Hello again. Feeling thirsty? Always. 24-7. Very good. Ooh, plenty of dirty water this time. Awesome. All we really need. I don't think I have a ton to sell right now. 
hunting rifle. I'm out of ammo. I'll keep the plasma rifle in case we find another fiend and we can replace it. All I need from here for now. We should be good on food and everything else. <laughs> I spent an... Yeah, I had to stare at her for an hour straight. It's the only way you can get her attention. She has tough standards in order to make someone a customer. She doesn't do business with everybody, okay? Only a select few. Now, some of you may be wondering why I don't just murder everyone on the strip to get all the XP in the world. Well, that's because I still need customers if I want to be a courier. I can't kill all of my clientele. It's just, it's not feasible. I'll be out of business. Come on. You gotta think realistically. Oh, hello. All right, can we finally make use of this bad boy? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, finally. I would have really enjoyed to take that laser rifle, but it's okay for now. Oh, it just feels so good to be powerful now. There was definitely a slog there on the third stream where we had to get a lot of skill points. But now we're moving along. Sneak attacks are pretty consistent. Our aim is not awful. Another challenge, we're already halfway to level 12. Really good XP so far on this stream. They were feral. They were going to attack me. All right. I'm not just out here killing dogs. Don't paint that picture of me. I'm a nice courier. I'm, I'm reforming myself, okay? Rhodey is a nice person. They just had to, you know, do a little bit of murder so that they, be, they could become strong enough. All right? It was just necessary for them. Hello, Grimo. How are you? Okay, so this village right up here, right through there, there's a massive fight that goes on over there. There's going to be a few explosions, plasma grenades being thrown. I want to say it's for a quest. I'm not exactly sure which quest it's for, but we should still be able to take out a lot of the enemies and get some really good loot. I think there's a really good lever action rifle there too. Red Rock Canyon. Can we go see a concert here? I want to see a concert. Oh my gosh, there's big horners everywhere. This is an XP haven. We'll do some quick hunting. Is that, a li is that one alive or dead? Okay, it was two of them <laughs> in one. Do you know why the buffalo went extinct or nearly extinct? Pretty much for that exact reason. All right, this one's almost out. Oh, I have plenty of 10 millimeter ammo. Good. Good, good. I got to have a light ammo backup. I don't want to waste all the sniper shots. I got to save them for big fights like in that town. Oh, we can't. Oh, damn. Okay, tiebreaker. We'll see, we'll see if the map has it. Well, now I'm sad. I was, I was sure we'd at least be able to go see the cons. No, I want to go talk to the Sons of Anarchy. That's actually a bummer. Although I think they'd be a little bit upset with me because I didn't end up telling Jessup and all of them who we helped at Boulder City. We didn't even tell them. We couldn't go into the building to talk to them.
Okay, one more over here. Got him. That was way more worthwhile. I should have come here way earlier. <gasps> Scrimpy, you're from the VOD channel? You are an MVP. Thanks for stopping by. All right, full condition, 50 caliber sniper rifle. This has to work. This should not be too bad. We can probably, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I do have a road. I was gonna say, there's no way I don't have a road there. If we can get through this village, we should be able to get through the Cazadors. Mm, that's debatable. There's a big respawning Cazador nest though, if we're able to get through this village. Great XP there. Ooh, don't, don't go after him. Run, run little buddy. I'm gonna save him. Oh no, I shot the cat. I didn't, I didn't mean to shoot the big horner. I tried to save him. Oh no, 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 no. I insert Walter White. No, I tried to save him. Oh, okay, we can finally save one. I can be the hero for once. We did it. We saved him. Go free, little buddy. Run free. I've finally done a good deed after massacring his entire population. And you know what? That is okay. One good deed. Everyone knows that one good deed can wipe out a thousand bat. No, it actually, no. Nope, everyone does not know that. That is not true. That's bad advice, but look at him. Hey, bud. I'm really sorry I killed your whole family and didn't even bother to harvest them. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy, you might want to get out of here. It's about to pop off. We have to get them on the... Is he going to help me? He's going to help me. Screw their loot. I'm keeping him alive. Get out of here. Don't defend me. Run. You're no use in this fight. All right, that might have just been two of their scouts that they sent my way. What a legend, though, this little guy. I, you know what? I didn't protect Snuffles, but I will protect him. Thank you, Steven. Steven. That's what we're calling him. Thank you, Steven, for your service. Now go. Is that a waste of 50 caliber? It might be. I thought that those were going to be much more powerful enemies, but this won't be. If I can at least hit my shots on him. Ooh, that's bad. That's very bad. We can't be missing shots like that. There we go. It's really hard to control this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shit. One more shot. Come on. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That was dumb. Stop reloading. Ah! Woo! That thing was close. You don't got to get that close to the screen. Jesus. <laughs> it's like the scary maze game all over again. Don't look it up. One more. Got him. All right. Good shots. That was 300, 350 XP. What did I do to Snuffles? Pashi, I did nothing to Snuffles, okay? I did nothing to Snuffles. Snuffles died defending me valiantly in battle. All right, I wonder if armor piercing is going to be good. Yeah, okay, there's, so there's a guy in here who's got on really heavy metal armor. Like Metallica or something, you know? And I'm sure sneaking past him is tough. You know what? We might not need to worry about dragging them out onto the road because I think the road goes through this whole town. Right up the center of the town. It's going to be kind of a tough shot. Yeah, you've got one in combat armor. You've got one in metal armor. The one in metal armor is much tougher. It's not on the map, but this does look like road. You can see the yellow uh, 
Yeah, you can see the yellow line. So this is continuous. We're going to count this. Okay, there's two Viper leaders. Let's just make sure we can hit the shot on the first Viper leader. <sighs> All right. It should sway. Yeah, it's going to sway left at a certain point. Just wait for it. We have to time this perfectly. Oh, that was a good shot. Tango down. One Viper leader down. They're on the way. This one's on the road. We got him. We got a hit. That one missed. Another hit. Viper leader's almost down. Got him. Some machine gun. Pfft. What is that? This is my road. My state. My city. My wasteland. I own this. Oh, I'm going to deliver so much mail now that you're all gone. Oh, I'm too powerful. You cannot stop me. I am reborn again as a powerful demon murder killer thing of vengeance. That was almost too easy. Now I feel bad. I shouldn't have put all my power into this sniper, but it's so good. Magnum rounds, 5.56, five, bottle caps. How's that metal armor looking? Trail carbine. We love that. Trail carbine takes pretty cheap ammo, too, with 44 magnum rounds. I guess not cheap, but, you know, fairly common. Doctor's bag, medex. I'll take your metal armor. I'll take your metal armor. Tell me I can repair it. Is reinforced slightly different than... It is not. Oh, yeah. 1500 We're going to sell that. I'm keeping the NCR disguise on. You know what? This counts as road. This also counts as road. That doesn't, unfortunately. She's off the road, so we're going to miss out on her loot. That's a bummer. But this is the first campfire I've been able to use. I can cook. We might be able to come back here. Dog. Ramen. Oh, we are eating good tonight. This might be our new home base, or at least close to a home base. You would watch an, actually an action movie about a postman could be pretty good. Can we, can we cast uh, Bob Odenkirk as the lead? I know he just did that action movie called Nobody, which I never saw. If anybody's seen it, is it good? I've heard it's pretty good. Yeah, who would play who would play the lead in an action blockbuster summer action blockbuster? It's got to be a summer action blockbuster. Huge difference. All right, I wonder if the Cazadors have a weakness to incendiary rounds. <gasps> Whoa, what the fuck are you doing here? I'm not afraid of you. Come on. Come on, bring it. I think we get, did we get his legs? We did. Okay, so somebody mentioned this on the VOD channel. That the death claws are much more manageable if you go for their legs, because now this is their max speed. He really, really let the demon out inside of him. He had, he had demons that were eating him up inside. He had to let him go. Okay, now the tough thing about Cazadors, they're nearly impossible to snipe. They're just, they constantly move. They barely ever take time to rest. I think that's intentional, so you can't just get the drop on them. So we're going to try our best here to get a sneak attack off on one of them. Am I just a stealth archer now? I'm just a stealth archer at this point, right? No. Jory, thank you for the 100 bits. Ugh. They aren't even animated yet. We're not close enough. The animations haven't kicked in. Okay, we're really close now. 
It looks like right here, they both might cross. Yeah, okay, right here. We're going to have to time it perfectly, but right in this exact spot we're aiming, they keep crossing. Whoop. One, two, three. Shit. I thought I had it. Maybe they'll keep crossing. Maybe they didn't notice the giant, large cannon fire that just went off. Or maybe they did and they're pissed. We got one. Closing in, closing in. 64%. We'll go for the wings. Booyah. Woo! I am the champion of the road. Come at me, Cazadors. Now, I know they're just the little ones. We're going to take guns up to 65. Get some more help that way. I'm going to take survival up to 51. So we can be a little bit better with water, food, and all that stuff. Now we're back to getting a perk. Yeah, I'll take bloody mess. <laughs> I'll take the bloody mess perk while there's no gore in the game. Hobbler. With the hobbler perk, your chance to hit an opponent's legs in vats is significantly increased. I've never had a chance at getting that perk, but I think that that's a really good perk. I think that's an awesome perk. I've always been, a, I, or I haven't always been a fan. I've started to become a much bigger fan in any Fallout game of immediately just going for the legs and slowing down people. Heavyweight, have you been working out? Weapons heavier than 10 pounds now weigh half as much for you. Modified weapons that drop below 10 pounds will not gain this benefit. That's pretty good. Ghastly Scavenger. With Ghastly Scavenger, when you're in sneak mode, you gain the option to eat a super mutant or a feral cool corpse to regain health. Every time you feed, you lose karma, and if the act is witnessed, it is considered a crime against nature. I don't want to commit any more crimes, okay? Oh God. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to do the new Vegas dance moves. The, se the sexy NPC dance moves. Thank you, Pool. It was very kind of you. I appreciate it. Thank you all. Who is my favorite Pokemon? Uh, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to go with an option that I feel like they got a raw deal. They ended up as a member of a franchise that just can't keep that, that just can't get a winning streak going. They're always losing. I feel like they carry this team. Ownership is absolutely incompetent, but they're the star player. Give me Meowth. Can I get Meowth? I like Meowth. All right. And I'm tired of all the hate. Meowth has been what well, the thing about Meowth's history. Meowth was drafted to a terrible franchise with incompetent ownership who constantly, constantly blows the lead. They've always just they have victory in the palm of their hands each and every time. And the incompetent ownership blows it. I want Meowth. I think Meowth under good ownership could be awesome. Now, again, I'm not a huge Pokemon fan. I don't know a lot about Pokemon. <laughs> I, I know nearly nothing about Pokemon. But I'm going to go with Meowth. Okay, uh, what's alertness? You've learned to keep your senses alert to any danger. When crouched and not moving, you gain plus two to your perception attribute to help you find enemies before they find you. Nah, I'm not a huge fan of that one. Uh, Mysterious Stranger is not bad. Thank you, kind sir. Meowth apologist. Comment you W. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, Whimsy. With the finesse perk, you have a higher chance to score a critical hit on an opponent in combat, equivalent to five extra points of luck. That would put my luck, at least in combat, to 15. I think we have it maxed. So right now I'm thinking Hobbler, Mysterious Stranger, or Misfortune. I, I kind of like Misfortune because Misfortune leads to really funny ragdolls. Just when your enemies think they have the upper hand, Misfortune appears to turn their world upside down. Upside down, Appearing only in bats, she has the ability to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. I think I like Misfortune. Mysteri or Mysterious Stranger just deals a lot of damage, but Misfortune, I'm pretty sure she ragdolls the enemies and they fall Thank over. And... Kimiko, thank you for the tier one. 
Thank you for telling ads to fuck off on Twitch. Because even at the lowest setting, they're still obnoxious. Thank you very much. All right, so I think I'm between finesse and misfortune. Fight the power. You've had enough with the so-called authorities pushing poor folks around. You gain plus two damage threshold, plus 5% critical chance against anyone wearing the faction armor of the NCR Legion or... <sighs> Shit, that's a good one, too. Fight the power is pretty good. Especially if I want to just go nuts and start taking out NCR troopers again. They're pretty good for money. We're going to go Misfortune. We'll go Misfortune for now. Let's keep moving up the road. I know for a fact there's more Cazadors up here. That's a big one. Oh, yeah. That's the den mother. Okay, two of them right here. Okay, we're on caution. Woo! I forgot I had explosive rounds in here, too. Goodbye. See ya. Yeah, you thought I was going to be another victim? Get off my property. Oh, what? There's no way. That... W that wasn't even close. We got him in one shot. Oh my gosh. I'm overpowered. This is too easy. This is a joke now. <laughs> We're not going to have any trouble at all. I'm never going to use Misfortune. Shh, really? There's another one up here? All right, Miss Fortune, let's see if you can help us out. Okay, I wasn't ready to turn into an absolute stud. I'm going to be honest, I thought that I would start struggling at this point. I didn't think it would be this easy. That's a big one. Big dog up ahead. Okay. All right. Here we go. Misfortune. There's two of them. That's pretty bad. Woo! Damn, those things just pop up. Misfortune! Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, Misfortune. Ragged all that fucker around. Get off my highway. Oh, man, they're close. Misfortune, come back. Ow. I don't have any anti-venom, do I? I might have anti-venom. Absinthe, ant nectar. Oh, damn it. This is going to be this is going to get me killed, I think. I have no st Okay, I have stim packs. I have two. Uh, I should have just stuck with the sniper. Whew. My healing's outpacing the poison, so we should be all right. Should be good. Where did he roll? Oh, damn it. Did it roll away? Please don't do that to me. Don't jump scare me like that. Audio cues always get the best of me. Oh my god, how many of you are there? Shit. Woo! We got him. Quick scope. Yeah, for 360 to Cazador on the highway? I bet not. <laughs> now you have. Bet you never seen that play. I'm going to have to edit the MW2 kill cams uh, text over the screen. Am I still dying? How the hell am I still dying?
I don't want to waste my last stim pack. Come on, healing powder, do your job. All right, I get it. I'm poisoned. You don't gotta yell at me about it. Are we gonna keep doing this? I think I'm okay. I think the poison's worn off. All right. All right, we should be good. And look at this. Our journey has taken us all the way back home. A round trip. And look, some of the big corners here are still alive. They don't all hate us. I just want to get all the way back to Doc's house, just so that we can say we made the trip. <gasps> is it, oh man, why is it always... Uh, the Tumbleweed's so anti-adventure. It's a weird hill to die on, Tumbleweed, but fine. If you don't want to be my friend, I get it. I mean, I don't get it, but it's your choice. I can't stop you. Oh no, is his dead body really still here? Poor guy. Well, well, well. If it isn't all easy, Pete. I'm really sorry it had to start this way, Pete. It seems like a nice town. I'm sure they've got good drinks. Guys, it's been a couple of weeks. Does anybody in this town want to move the dead body? No one? We're just going to leave it? Again, more antisocial tumbleweed. It's ridiculous. So now we finally got this whole stretch. Good stuff. I'm going to go back to Novak real quick. I want to hit up the doctor again, get some stim packs since I'm out. It's worthwhile. Yeah, Greasy, we actually, we kind of had no choice to kill, to not kill Easy Pete. Because at the beginning of our adventure... We had to try and get what we could out of Good Springs, and there was very few that we could do. So I had to start off with some dynamite, a couple of tools right at the beginning. So we did. Sadly, we had to kill off Easy Pete. What can I do for you? It, it was all in service of the mission, though. What can I do for you? Water? She hasn't had water in forever. You know what we need is turbo. I still haven't found turbo. If we want to actually meet the boomers, Thanks. we have to find turbo. And plus, we have to connect with the boomers. If I'm going to be a mail delivery service person, boomers are going to be like my number one customer. We gotta. Everyone else has moved on to email. Plenty of stim packs. I don't know why I'm vilified at Sloan. Is it because they're NCR? Yeah, they're, they're definitely affiliated with NCR. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, no. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. I'm back on the road. All right. I was only off the road for about three seconds there. Adrian, I do have a Fallout 76 video planned. I've got one. And I'm actually more excited for it than a lot of videos I've ever done before.
It should be pretty fun. I've got I've got a really good feeling about it being a great time. It's probably going to take a really long time, but it should also at the same time be a lot of fun. Okay, so we've got the death claws at the top of Cory Junction. I wonder if there's a way we can aggro the death claws that are deeper into Quarry Junction. Because you've got two of them right here, but if I start shooting them or if I sneak attack them, I don't know if we're going to be able to, you know, get the other ones to follow them out or, or what's going to happen there. It could be that once you aggro one, you aggro them all. But I think if I want to just take out a few death claws, I should just start here. All right? I've been putting up with your guys' shit for a while. You guys got in my way earlier. You ruined my first route. I had to sneak around you. You chased me up the highway. It was ridiculous. Now I claim my revenge. Sneak attack critical. Caution. He's moving in. Oh my god, it was almost a one-shot. Four months flown by. Just got here after watching the new video. So, so good. Loved every minute or time excited to see Fallout 76 content as I've not seen anything on it yet. I saw all the hate when it was released and was like, I guess I'm not playing that. Keon, thank you very much for the tier one in the four months. Thank you for the kind words. I'm glad you enjoyed yesterday's video. I had a ton of fun doing it. And I was really, really happy and excited with how it turned out. Thank you. Also, hell yeah. Just smoked that death claw. This is a joke now. I don't even need to sneak anymore. Armor piercing? Ex explosive? Uh, misfortune? Misfortune, I could really use your help right about now. Shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look how defiant my sniper rifle is. It's just staying there. It's like, I'm not going anywhere. This is my road. You want round two, motherfuckers? Bring it on. Find Frank Weathers. Fin I keep getting that quest. I don't remember who Frank Weathers is. How'd the armor piercing round do? Eh, it did pretty good. Let's let this idiot charge up. Pfft, dummy. Ow. Ow. Can you... Okay, Sniper, if I die, you have to die with me. You can't just stand there and be cool. He's primed. He really wants to take that shot. Damn, I should have quicksaved after the first Deathclaw. It feels like cheating, though, if I just quicksave after each Deathclaw. Damn it, he got me. And I blew him off the road. This gun is too powerful. It's taking away my loot from me. I don't like it anymore. So we're going to have to take on two death claws at one time. Right here. Let's switch to incendiary. Nah, we'll do the explosive. The explosive rounds are just badass. Only reason I want to use them right now. God damn, a near one hit. Swap to the side piece. Whip it out. Swap back. Misfortune, help me. The roll 43%. Count it. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Uh, yeah, Kamiko, we do have a, uh, we do have a limit on the TTS cheers, mainly just because the, uh, you know, at the same time when we do do these streams, we are recording for the main channel, and at least keeping the audio as vanilla and intact as possible is a lot better for the editing and post process and all that stuff.
All right, we'll go armor piercing with the first one. The first one doesn't distract the next two. I want to be able to loot this death claw, so I'm just going to bop over here. Do, do, do. Damn it, stay on the road. Stop supermaning away. That's ridiculous. It's comical. It's not even realistic. Oh yeah, now we're smoking them. Get off my highway. I'm clearing this out for any and all couriers. Well, you, aside thanks, from the sir. ones that are in direct competition with me, oh, I'll kill thanks. them too. Cassie, I appreciate it, thank you. Couple more out here, should be really easy. Excuse me, sir. One hit kill. Oh my gosh. Hello, Mr. Deathclaw. I'm reaching out about your car's extended warranty. Oh, fuck. Ooh, we gotta go. How the hell did that one hurt me more than the death claw? And why does my sniper still fall to the ground with me? If I die, you die as well, sniper. You don't just get to survive like that. It's not fair. So we got two death claws to our right, two death claws to our left. I do wish I had some steady. Somebody did suggest taking steady earlier. That would be nice. You know what we could do? We could explore up this mountain. I don't know how much XP we'll get for clearing out the mountain, but it's all roads, it's all super mutants, and it's a lot of good guns and loot. We should be able to make a ton of money. So we'll venture up this way now. Is a railroad a road? A railroad is not. We ruled out railroads at the beginning of the challenge. I know it's it's a controversial pick and, and you know there's a there's a large faction This is a dangerous place human especially for your kind. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. <laughs> Shut up, Neil. Goodbye. The other one was way cooler. He was at least nice to me. This is no place for your kind. Please back away. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I've never been like <laughs> more willing to be defiant than in this moment. Oh, 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 I'm I'm not allowed up here. I shouldn't go up there. You don't think it's safe for me to go up there? I'm puny human and my limbs will be pulled apart by the people up here. Good. Now I basically feel invited. I'm going. Let me just quick save <laughs> real quick just to be safe. Don't want to get ahead of myself here. I saw one behind that fence. Okay, we've got 20 rounds standard. 19 armor piercing. 19 incendiary. And 19 explosive. It's kind of weird how they're all right around 20, but we still have about 80 shots with this thing, which is pretty damn good. But it is really slow. We miss one shot with this. We open ourselves up to taking a lot of damage. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool, man. Not cool. Mmm. Ooh. Goodbye. Bye bye. Grenades? That actually scared the hell out of me. I did not see that coming at all. Can we reach them? It's reasonable to assume that the road... Yeah, we're good. The 
There's probably another one of them up here. I'm not going to see them, though, until they start attacking. I can't identify an invisible enemy. I mean, I'll probably be okay. Just, I want to play it safe. I'm scared. Nothing, nothing. I want to get an assault carbine. I know a couple of them up here have a fully auto. It's like an M4. Clear, looks clear. I think this is one of the last roads that we have to clear off. Other than just double checking the neighborhood by the sharecropper farms, what do we have here? I see a campsite, but no campers. Still nothing. I swear I remember there being more enemies up here. Especially right here. Maybe they're right around this bend here. We gotta be getting close. <whistles> on the road again. Just can't wait to get back on the road again. Something, something, making music with my friends. Oh, the thing I love. The thing I love is making music with my friends. That's right. I learned some of the lyrics. This is a redemption arc. Oh, come on. I know one of you invisible bastards. Well, 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 if it ain't an invisible cunt. That was my really awesome Billy Butcher reference. Press 1 to hear it again. Reference impression. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't... Oh, oh, wait, hold on. What is... Danger. What the heck? We're under fire. Oh God, it's raining explosives. Uh, 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 don't worry, I know what to do. Huh. Didn't realize that the weather called for raining death. Oh, come on, give me that one. Come on, that one was awesome. That was the best one. Come on. You gotta give it to me. I know I always ask for you to give it to me after I make a really cheesy line. Ah, ah, we're under attack. Open fire. Holy shit, this one's running up the middle like a running back. Oh, no, I didn't even stand a chance. They just bum rushed me. And my sniper, still very defiant, does not want to join the kill cam. That's so selfish. Wow, I got obliterated there. I did not, <laughs> I did not last. Mid? You watch yourself. You watch yourself, Adrian. Unless you were talking about my impression. Then I'll put it away for now. Uh, no. This game doesn't have rain in it, okay? Wait, does this game have... Does this game have rain in it? Alright, there's somewhere right up there. Next to that splotchy obelisk, which is adjacent to the splotchy, uh, parallelogram. 
Is that what that shape's called? Oh, there, oh, there they are, right in position, just on time. Okay. Hmm. That's right, I'm indoors. I can't sense the wind. Okay. That's all right. Be just for wind, sway, stress. This is a lot of sway. We'll just wait for it to cross. So, oh, oh. Timing, efficiency, accuracy. I just realized I wasn't sneaking. That was probably a bad idea. They're about to come down this hill at full speed towards me, aren't they? Oh, would you cut it out with the thunderstorm noises? It's not real. All right, it looks like they don't have any plans to come rumbling down the mountain again. I just have to wait for them to get onto the edge. If they're so kind to stand out on the edge again. Oh, there's one. It's just his head that's peeking out, though. Shit. I gotta be careful. I'm running low. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't. It's like he knew that that bush would obscure my vision. Okay, that was just bad. That was bad. That was good. All right, target down. But I wasted a ton of shots there. Oh, crap. Haha, <laughs> nice try. Just try to rain death on me now. I want to get that gun. But I'm not going to be able to anymore. Unless he somehow rolls all the way down to the highway. <sighs> could you guys just be team players? Just for once. I really could use a team player. That one's got grenades. Wait, they both have grenades. Why does everybody have grenades? You guys are mutants, is it? Oh, there's... Th th lower health. Lower health. Both of them are hurt. This one's full health. We should probably just go for the ones that are already low health. Very low percentage chance on this shot, though. Oh, God. Did they just land both grenades at my feet? Maybe they gave up on the throws? Oh, 95% chance. Of course. Boom! I don't need odds. Never tell me the odds. I know what I'm doing here. Oh, is your gun broke? Is your gun broke? So's your health bar. Wait, wait. All right, I know that one was weak. <laughs> that one was bad. If it's bad, I'll say it's bad. But when it's good, I will acknowledge that it's great. I just wanted one of these bad boys. Just something that I can relentlessly fire off fully automatic and not feel bad about it. I only have 75 shots, though. And it's almost broken. Oh my god, there's two more! They just don't stop! I'm going to shoot a grenade out of one of their hands. That's not a grenade. That's a sledgehammer. It works all the same. Get off my road. They just launch him. Tango down. This is too easy. I shouldn't have given myself this gun. It's made the challenge underwhelmingly easy. Ooh, I bet I could sell this bad boy though for a lot. 2,000 is what it's worth already. Ha! 
How much damage does this thing do? The sniper. 93. Good God. I guess it's a it's a it's less than three times what the mysterious magnum does. Mysterious magnum does a pretty good a uh, pretty good amount of damage. They're both pretty effective. Jory, thank you for the hundred bits. I appreciate that. The DLC has rain. Which one? Also, relax with the radiation up here, guys. Okay, I I didn't ask you to double it. Okay, now, once again, tiebreaker. Oh no, the road isn't on the map. If I fast travel the Black Mountain, does it put me at the top of the mountain or at the bottom? Oh, it puts me right here. Get out. I probably shouldn't be sitting here debating on it much longer. Let's check. Oh, okay, forgot I can't click to bring the camera up. I mean, the road begins anew right over here. And then obviously continues all the way up there. But it is absolutely destroyed right here. I think that this is too significant of a break in the road to reasonably say, because it, it's not like it was buried by debris or covered in dirt. It's not like it's... Like, this is just, it was blown up. It was destroyed. It's no longer existing. I think, sadly, we can't. It would, it would go against my code. Plus, as a courier, I'm never going to have to deliver up there. I just wanted to clear out the road, get the XP, mark it off on my map. So now the last thing we can do is take out the death claws and then make our way to the boomers. I'm going to stop at gun runners. Welcome, sir. Orm. Thank you, kind sir. If a Jew walks off the road, but no one sees it, <laughs> did it really happen? <laughs> Are you saying if I cut it out of the video and just assume that we went there, it's all good? I mean, hey, possibly. Trail Carbine does just about as much damage as the Mysterious Magnum, so goodbye. I'm going to take the cash. Another 3,000. Let's see if Vendor... Oh, yes. Vendortron is back in stock, baby. Give me all the ridiculously overpowered ammo you got on you. Is it cheating? No. Does it feel like cheating? Absolutely. I know, poor Danny Trejo. We're leaving him up there. I feel bad for him. All right, I want to say we went through all these little side roads because there's almost nothing here. Except for this little idiot. Oh, good karma. See? This is my redemption arc. I am a good person. I am a good courier. We certainly have not actually been around here much. Yeah, we haven't gone through this neighborhood. Sewers. We did talk about and we debated the sewers, but I think we're going to rule them out. It has been kind of a bummer that this challenge, and I guess I did kind of expect the challenge to go this way. We've absolutely been here, I think. We should be able to go see them, though. Yeah, the Crimson Caravan. They have a really good vendor here too. Look, a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Am I vilified here? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. They really hate me here. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. Do you have turbo? 
t t t turbo damn seven purified why did i not come here before i was struggling i was down bad as the kids say these days Crimson Caravan's the biggest merchant out there. There is a, there's the one drug dealer in Freeside we could probably talk to, Dixon. And Dixon should be reachable. We could see if Dixon has turbo. All right, Crimson Caravan, 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 Caravan visited. Jory, thank you for gifting you tier one. Bro, down bad for real, on oh, God, yeah. <laughs> No doubt. Or at least I was. Now I have a surplus of water. Um, but what was I saying? Um, I'm a little disappointed that this run, it was really, really engaging and really fun in the earlier levels. And then it mostly just kind of became about killing things and leveling up. Which is a little bit... You know, kind of a bummer. Like when we did the Veronica thing and we were finding dumb ways to get Veronica to join our team. That was kind of peak. Can we take these roads? I think we have taken this road already. This road is just covered. Count it. As long as I can get over this little hump. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a covered up road. No blood, no foul, right? We can count that. I'm just going to I'm going to run through every intersection here. Just so I can say that we touched all the roads at least. I'm not 100% sure if we have physically touched every single road in the whole game, but we're pretty damn close. So right here where we're at right here this is where it broke off. Do you guys remember a couple streams ago? We got to this point in the road. It broke off. Oh my gosh, it is. It's just covered. I could have taken the road. No. No, there was a crater. There was a big crater that was blocking it. And we came to the conclusion that, no, it's off limits. Can't do that. Like, these are reasonably covered. That right there, that's covered. We can go there. We have not taken this road, though. Where does this one go? I want to say that this one goes to the hangar where there's that downed airplane. If I had to guess, that's where it is. But honestly, I feel like I'm just running into the void right now. I have no idea. I will also say, uh, to my point earlier, how the challenge really became just kind of kill everything focused, especially as we tried to gain more XP. That the way that this game is set up, it's definitely heavily weighted for the early game that you'll run into a lot of characters on the road because it kind of wants you following the road to move upwards and get closer to Vegas. Is that the NCR? Is that where you get the NCR Ranger armor? That little shack? Looks like it. I think that's Camp Golf. Yeah, that's definitely Camp Golf. I think I've terrorized Camp Golf more than enough. Hello, Minz Tam. How are you? Also, Quantum, thank you for the tier one. I think I missed that. 
I appreciate that. Thank you. And Jory, I think I did. I did I miss that one? Either way, thank you, Jory, for the gifted sub. Oh, that's Raul's shack. Uh, whenever construction equipment's involved, there's going to be dangerous enemies. It's a clear sign that danger is nearby. Ha! Huh. What do you know? Death claws. They always like to hang out by these things. Two of them? Three, four. Jeez, really? More? I just, just what I needed was more death claws. <laughs> that one was flopping around. I didn't realize that the explosive rounds would make them go ragdoll. Okay, I feel bad for shooting that one. Oh my god, now it's just a massacre. This is so good. I never, I never realized that the explosive rounds on this gun were as OP as they are. We're just sending them flying. I think I just eliminated all Deathclaw civilization. It's over. I'm still in danger though. Oh, oh no. Oh God. Don't blow this. Come on, buddy. You got this, Rody. Did that hit? I don't know what happened. Don't do this to me, game. We'll just keep, we'll keep pumping up survival, guns, and barter. That was it. We almost got flanked. Okay, that was close. You know, as a courier out here, you have to have complete awareness. Three hundred and sixty degrees sensory awareness. Once you lose track of the enemies, you're screwed out here. Believe me. Never mind. Canceled. Oh, okay, I, I, I got a good one. <clears throat> you know they say, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not doing it. Life is a highway. And I want to ride it all night long. That's a rascal flats. Give them their just due. Minus two. I thought that one was decent. All right. Unless we got a lot of Rascal Flats haters in chat. It's like the movie Cars because you're... Yes, exactly. Thank you. When I was a kid, we used to always go up to a real, real small place up in Minnesota. We would... Really, dude? I'm telling the vacation story and you interrupted me! Die, spawn of Satan! Die! Cease existence immediately. You interrupted the vacation story. Ow. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, we would always go up to uh, this real small place in Minnesota. There's a lot of there's a lot of places, you know, cabins on lakes and stuff like that, that, you know, my family rented one out. Right. And then this place had resort in the name. I can tell you right now, it was not a resort. It was it, w it was like tiny, tiny shacks, but they were close to a beach. It was very affordable. So we would go up there every summer. It was about a 20 to 25 minute drive to go from where our little shack cabins were to the town. Right? There was a real small town in the area. But we would go out there and they had turtle races where like you could catch a turtle, bring a turtle and race turtles against other kids. Now, one time when I was there, 
Hold on, this is an important story, okay? This is important lore. And one time when I was a kid, we went to the turtle races. I think I was five years old, and I had a little turtle. A little guy. His, uh, his name was Mowgli, because the Jungle Book at the time was one of my favorite movies, and Mowgli is the main character of the Jungle Book. Now, Mowgli was kicking ass and taking names. Totally kicking ass. I made it all the way to the final round, and Mowgli would have won. Mowgli had it in the bag, and this little dickhead could have been no older than like three, maybe four. He threw his turtle. He threw his turtle across the finish line, and Mowgli lost. And then I had to obviously not keep Mowgli and let him go back into the water where he belongs and where he lives. Because he probably didn't want to hang out with me and watch the source material that inspired his name constantly 24-7. Doesn't seem like an enjoyable life for a turtle. But anyway, the whole point of the story is, at those turtle races, every year, without fail, at the start of every single turtle race, they would play Life as a Highway. So, like, you, we had to listen to the song, Life is a Highway. We had to listen to that song an ungodly amount of times. Because we made it all the way to the finals. Bitter Springs Recreation Area. Okay, we're, we made it to Bitter Springs. That's just an ominous name for a place. Is there anyone here we can talk to? It's been a while since we've talked to somebody. I think we're about to come all the way to the edge of the map again over here. Let's swap to some armor pierce. No, let's go incendiary for the Cazadors. Might be pretty good. What ending are we aiming for? Uh, we won't be able to beat the game. We're just trying to see how far we can get. How many times we can level up without, you know, taking out every single NPC we come across. We've taken out a lot. I don't want to kill them all. But mostly we're just trying to touch every point on the road. You know what, actually, I have to go explosive for the Cazadors. That's why. Because you can just slightly miss, but still take them out. I, I wonder if, if they're in the explosion, the explosion radius of the explosive rounds, does it just do full damage? Like, there's no splash damage. It's either you get hit with the whole thing, or you don't get hit at all. More of them up there. I mean, it's, it's too easy. It's like I have aimbot. Finally. I was really expecting the Cazadors to cause me a bunch of problems. I feel bad that I didn't let the Cazadors cause problems for me early. Maybe in hindsight, we should have limited ourselves to like level 10. Two more of them coming around the corner. This is a tough angle. I think they're positioned up here in this way because I won't have a shot on them until they're really close. So I won't be able to get a sneak attack. Worth every second. Fleeing, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, that's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh no. I lost all my limbs. Oh no, that's even worse. Don't die. Come on, Rody, don't die on me. What did I have? 10 health? We gotta switch to something quick. I'm not doing this as a joke, all right? I'm doing this for combat effectiveness. Crippled? There we go. Ooh, that was close. Now, as I was saying, it's just gotten a little bit too easy. The challenge is kind of gone at this point. I think this is it. <sighs> Stop it. Scenic Overlook.
cannot wait when enemies are nearby. I also can't wait while dying. Okay, all right, come here. All right, all right, all right. All right. New gun. I want to say there's an NCR little camp over here. I also think this is pretty close to where you start dead money. There's no reason that would be there. Those stairs. There's certainly something over there. I'm going to take a look. <laughs> my, my binoculars have been upgraded. Okay. This is a fair play. I have super binoculars. It's a way down south from here. Is it true Turkey Stick was a member of the Viet Cong? Um, Turkey Stick was not affiliated with any uh, any groups. Turkey Stick was solo, a mercenary. Is this one going on the tube? It'll definitely end up on the VOD channel. And yeah, the plan is right now to make this a video for the main channel. Unless the video just doesn't pan out and it ends up not being very good and the story sucks, which I don't think it will. I think that the first two streams were compelling enough to have fun with it. But we'll just have to see. Sometimes things do change in post. And after, you know, re-watching it and going through it, I kind of realized, oh, this is, ooh, it's not turning out very good. But I think we accomplished enough things and we played around with enough weird mechanics, especially early on in the run, to where it should turn into a pretty good video. I mean, I spent like a quarter of the first stream shouting at a, at a piece of tumbleweed. Look how far we've come. From yelling at Tumbleweed to be my friend to now just vaporizing every tough enemy we come across. First time catching a stream? Welcome. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. We're, we're nearing the end of this journey, if you've just stopped in. Okay, I think... Isn't this like the biggest Cazador nest in the game? I think there's a ton of them in here. But look at that one. Look. Look, they're just showing off. That's Cazador for come and get me. I can translate. Don't worry. Are they going to like pop out of those things? feels strange that I don't see any yet. Nothing? Maybe they're only here as a part of that one quest. Or did I kill them all? There's no way I killed them all. I gotta make sure to get this one, though. This is gonna be a tough shot. I think if we hit this rock right here, we should be able to get them. Look at him go. Look at him soar. One last fly. Huh. That's a bummer. I'm actually really sad. I thought there was going to be a big epic showdown with a bunch of Cazadors. Colville Bay. Had no clue this place was called Colville Bay. For a million dollars, I could have never told you what it was called. You know what we should che we should uh, check out? Let's head back over to Neil's. Poor Neil. I wonder if we can get a shot from somewhere on this road into Quarry Junction so we can take out the big bad. I'll be really sad if we can't take out the big bad. When's the last time we got a map update? I showed off uh, the map at the beginning 
but after we go through this little section we'll just we'll just yeah i mean it's 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 too easy at this point i feel bad now I, I've, I've trivialized my own challenge although granted it's not really a challenge of difficulty it's more so just a challenge of doing it but it's so easy right now I just turned it into a stealth archer playthrough. Uh oh. No shot. Get the what? Three. Come on. I've been mowing them down. You can't just hit me with that. That's not fair. It's unfair. Oh god, and I have to walk do the whole walk again. We were right there. We just had him. It's funny you mentioned that, Adrian. I just got recommended to me last night on YouTube the first Morrowind multiplayer that Mickey D and I did. So I started rewatching it again, and it's just so funny to just think so far back i was so excited when i basically got confirmation from mick that we were gonna do it and we were gonna do the multiplayer video and we were gonna i just, i was like holy shit no way this is insane <laughs> like i was so excited for it my dad was over at my apartment at the time and I like high-fived him. I was like, yes, <laughs> we're going to be on Mickey D's channel. And I, I, I don't know why it was on my front page of YouTube last night, but then it got me thinking, man, we should, uh, we should definitely play Morrowind multiplayer again. It's really fun. Is this fuckstick still alive? No way! There's a third one in there. I thought I got them all. Or I thought it was gonna be low health. I thought that was the same one. Dude, why didn't you quick save before the f Oh. I guess I did quick save right before it. What will the next challenge be after this one? I'm going to have to take a look at look at the list of the ones that I have. We're going to have to do Markarth pretty soon. All right, there's the one shot kill I was looking for. No, 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 no. Can we get them both in one shot? It's got to be all of them. Are we clear? Are we finally done? Is the Deathclaw Menace done? <laughs> Are they gone? Oh, finally. Now I can calmly adventure along one stretch of road that I haven't been able to touch the whole time. They don't even have loot on them. You're not going to give me meat? Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. Imagine being this guy. Spending your whole life just walking around, patrolling this little stretch of highway, always fearing the Deathclaw menace that's roughly half a block away. Apparently he has the ability to randomly teleport as well. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's back now. He just had to wait it out a little bit. Defending their home, their ranch, hanging out. Just two powder gangers living in one ranch. It's an action comedy for the whole family. 
I think that killed both of them. <laughs> I think I actually got a double kill there. It's getting kind of ridiculous how many bodies we're starting to stack up just on this stream. All right, I have to check my map here. So this road, okay. I've looked at these roads and I've wondered, okay, they're just south of where we've already been and I haven't touched them. So we should be able to just adventure over these roads real quick. I would watch that show. I want like an ABC family style sitcom, kind of modern family style, but with two powder gangers living on the highway. Just outside their door are nine death claws. And naturally what kills them is just some asshole with a sniper who's wandering around high on drugs. Oh my gosh, there's a whole group of them right there. Sorry. This property has been claimed by the amazing courier service. What is that? Is that a gnome? Oh my god, it's Keemstar. Run, they're being defended by Keemstar. Holy shit. Holy sh- oh, no, 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 no. I deserve this. Misfortune? What the- that did not- the, what the- what the- uh, now it's broken. Stop reloading. Okay, gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, one at a time. You guys can all have a turn feasting on my corpse. What's with these powder gang- why do they live- I mean, next door to Death Claws. If you yell too loudly, if you stub your toe and you shout because you stubbed your toe, you're dead. Th they're right there. They're two feet. You have no room to live. You go out to mow your lawn and you're fucked. It's game over. All right, well, fine. I'll just handle it myself. <gasps> oh. There we go. So ridiculous. They're just flopping around and going flying. Although nine more shots, I don't know if that's enough to clear out Quarry Junction if we have a chance. Should be all of them. I didn't realize that this road had so much action on it. But I mean, come on, look at these guys. Look at these morons. And look at this one with this weird helmet. I had to go for it. I had to go for it. It was so worth it. All four in one. I've made this joke before, but go. Oh, I love when death is on discount. It's just mwah. one shot, four powder gangers. That's a really good deal. What stop hopping outrun a death claw? Probably. I'm really bad at stop hopping though. God, there's more. I am going to run out of ammo. Especially if I keep missing. He's running over to his friend like, who did this? You'll never know. Once again, I apologize for trivializing this entire challenge. But we'll have the endurance to finish it. Mmm. Mmm. That was a tasty shot. Mmm. Mmm. That was nice. 
Running Deathclaw? Right at the kneecap? Whoosha! So this circles all the way back to, yeah, Good Springs and that little village that we just took out. Genuinely, I think I just forgot how overpowered this sniper was. The finale goal for this challenge almost went off the road. For this challenge, the goal is really just to touch, touch every piece of road that we're able to. I'm going to run down here, though, see what we can cook up. It is theoretically possible that we could just keep playing the game in this style and hit the repeatable spawn locations that we've found so far. I'm not sure if the... I'm not sure if the Death Claws have repeat spawns or will, you know, refresh and come back. A lot of the Powder Ganger ones refresh. I've seen a couple of Fiends pop back up. I've seen the Fiend Dogs pop back up. No real significant encounters. We haven't explored the south end of the map in a while, though, where we've seen a lot of the Legion soldiers. We saw a lot of Legion soldiers earlier on, not a ton as of late. So now that all these are marked off, doesn't count, doesn't count, doesn't count. I'm back on the road. Oh, poor Chomps. Once again, Chomps, apologies for getting you and Snuffles killed. How come Snuffles isn't on the dumpster anymore? That was my memorial to Snuffles. It was a respectful gesture. So we're going to have to save here. Because we need to find a way to get a shot off. I don't think we can. I, I think it's purposefully just blocked on all angles so that you're forced to go inside of the quarry. And I doubt that they want you to kill these two death claws up here before the other ones are. Maybe it aggros them all at once. I don't think it will, though. Let's at least just see, because I want to try and get the alpha. Oh, I probably shouldn't be sneaking. If I want to get all their attention. Did I just get them both? Wait, why do they why are they all going flying now? Oh, what the fuck? There's one right behind. Jeez, man. What was that? Where was it? It was invisible. Are there is there an invisible death claw? What What just happened? I think the death claws have started to militarize against me. Sent them into the spirit world after me, right? Right now, every little rustling I hear. Oh, now where the hell did the other one go? There were two of them right there. It did this to me before when I had to load my save. All right, tactical sniper view. There's one right there. That's the only one that's really loaded in, though. And look how far back the quarry goes. There's no roads behind it. I have one of, it's like a periscope. The, the scope on my sniper, it goes 35 feet up into the air and then it angles downward. All right, I'm going to reload this save. OK, 
okay, one shotting the death claw isn't really the ideal situation. I want to know what the hell happened there. I'm doing well, Spaz. You just, uh, you just down, or you just bought Fallout New Vegas, just started playing. Anything I suggest you do, honestly, the best way to go about it is just explore. Go about it in your own way. If you eventually get to a point where you're kind of stuck or you're not sure what to do or you want to start finding secrets and hidden items, then I think you should uh, maybe start asking. But I think if you just got it, the best thing you should do is talk to NPCs, explore, run into random buildings. You know, the best way to play these games. Oh, that can't be it. That can't be it. There's just that one there. So the other one's probably way deeper in here. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of disappointing. Doesn't count. What's this road I speak of? The road. Highway 95. I'm going to be honest. And I don't like when this happens, especially at the end of a challenge. I, I like when a challenge run or just any of the things that we do end with it being at the height of its fun. But this challenge right now is kind of... What was that? I thought I heard something. But this one feels like it's kind of just running out of steam. You know, it's it's kind of coming to it's crawling to the end. So I wonder if we should think about I guess optimizing our wealth could be kind of fun. I mean, what what kind of Really fellas? Wait, they can't even throw it. This okay, this is the second time in a row we've seen enemies that can't throw. Oh yeah, they're just going through. Okay, maybe. All right, it was off a little bit. You like that? You like that? Anyway, Pip Boy 3 billion. Well, we wouldn't be able to do it with the current constraints we're playing with. I mean, we can certainly keep hitting the same repeat locations. That's just going to get incredibly repetitive. Although, it, you know, when you think about it, a lot of the region lock challenges that we've done do tend to lose some steam at the end. Just That's just kind of the nature of doing cyclical, repeatable grindy things what level are we uh 13 yeah 13 go back to sleep go back to bed you stay on the road I feel bad. We've killed this guy too many times. FBI, open up. He never has a weapon either. He's always unarmed. Poor thing. Never stood a chance. You can tell how we've progressively powered up throughout this whole thing, though, because these powder gangers, they can't even put a dent in me. They do nothing. I'm invincible. I'm feared. Come on. 
Come out to the road. Keep pushing. Okay, that's doing more damage than I gave it credit for. Not... Okay, you weren't invited to this party. Dude, come on. Just... Ah, there you go. Perfect, thank you. Shunned? I went from vilified to shunned? Did they not like these two? Maybe I just killed off two rats. They were giving away secrets of the Powder Gangers. Thank you for getting rid of them. We appreciate it. We still remember all the other ones that you murdered that were chill. Do you think that one guy's over here? What's his name? The guy whose wife is missing? Or he's he's lying about his wife being missing. He's not loaded in, but do you think we can just fire around and take him out? Or should probably use the explosive rounds. We only get oh, there he is. It's Barton Thorne. Bastard, I know that trick you're about to play on me. I'm not gonna let it happen. I won't be fooled this time. <laughs> Who knows how many people he could have scammed before we got here. Make a mod that adds like 30 feet of road to connect Lonesome Road to the already existing nearby roads. I don't know how difficult that would be to make, but to be honest, I would like to do... If we did this video, I think a part two would be cool taking this character to Lonesome Road. Is Lonesome Road a real combat heavy mod? I've never played it before. I think it would be a really cool way to play it for the first time. Don't fall off. Nice. Thank you. Rock is touching road. Rock is touching car, car is touching road. I think it's fair play. I'm just gonna use whatever. I'm just gonna use them. Screw it. Okay, yeah, this, their outfits suck. They're not worth anything. They don't have a terrible amount of cash on them. But it's not great. So that would be, you know, the majority of this run would be bouncing now from that place. Because if you look at the map, we have it mapped out basically in a circle around the... Oh, we haven't gone to the boomers yet. I forgot about the boomers. We got to go to the boomers. That's like the last place that we have to try and get to. The only bad thing is I, I still haven't found any turbo. But we're going to check Freeside. We'll try to talk to Dixon at Freeside. I can't believe I haven't slept once this entire stream and my character's still going hard. All right, we got Dixon. Oh, there he goes. Wait. Stay right there. Do not move. Stop. Stop running. Whoa. Really? Boys, nice hat. Had enough? Oh, my Lord. This is an embarrassment. Where'd Calamity Jane go? Watch out. Cut it out. I just saved your... Ooh, you are lucky, my friend. Although, no, that would have gotten Dixon mad at me. Machete. Not really worth it. Yeah, the boomers are okay for now. They... they we haven't really uh, done anything with them yet. 
but most of their compound is on the road. Looking for a fix, man? Turbo. Have a look. Turbo t -t 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 turbo Damn. I mean, buff out could help. Right? Thanks. Oh, I guess we haven't gone up this road. Technically, it is a road. We haven't touched it. Oh, this totally counts as road. We probably could have gotten the spigot. The pump is property of the king. You'll need to pay if you want to drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Uh, I'll have you know that I'm water rich right now. I have as much water as I'll ever need. I don't need your water pump. Where are they? I can't get vats on them? Who are you? I don't know why I'm all of a sudden interested in these dumb NPCs, but I am. It looks like they're fixing to jump me. Can I go into buildings that are connected? I, so I can go into buildings if the door is like right on the road. It's got to be directly on the road, though. And I, I want to say there's one, maybe two places that, that we've seen. There was one place that was pretty much just... It was, like, on the road, and then the back door exit. Oh, it was, uh... It was West Side, I think. Or was it North Vegas? It was West Side and West Vegas. Or North Vegas. Sorry, I'm getting them all confused now. All right, nothing back here. We can't go see Fisto. Fisto is off limits for us. Just to be thorough, it's tedious and stupid, I know. I don't know if I ever took this road, but I'm gonna take it. And then we're gonna run to just outside, what's it called? The, um, uh, the Silver Rush. No, the strip is Rhodes. Yeah, we've gone onto the strip a few times. What the hell? Well, that was fun. That was a fun little encounter, right boys? Appreciate the help. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all at the silver. Yes, jam, we did. We stopped by Jacobstown. Not a whole lot going on there. You know, we were able to talk to uh what's his face up front. I think it's Jacob or something. It's his town. Well, we talked to them real briefly. We tried to get Lily, but I think you have to do a little bit more for Lily to gain uh, to gain them as a follower. But we were able to talk to them. Just required some, you know, friendly fire. Marcus. Ma'am, are you okay? Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. You make me uncomfortable. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler. No, I'm I'm alright. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm just gonna make the run to the boomers. Who says I need drugs? I don't need drugs. I'm going to run right down the road or possibly teach myself how to stop hop and get there. I'm gonna do this clean. I don't need performance enhancers. 
Maybe I'll use some buff out. Duality, this is the fifth stream of this challenge. We're kind of in the process of wrapping it up. I don't think that there's a whole lot else we can do other than run around to the exact same spots and kill respawning enemies. But that's going to get old really quick. To be honest, it already has because I've done it a few times for XP and money. All right, let's... There we go. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Look at me go. I might be able to survive this barrage. I think I can do it. I could reload dash. All right, I mean, reload dashing is real cheese. Plus, I have already learned reload dashing on the channel. We did it when we speed ran the casinos. I learned how to reload dash for that, which was really fun. But reload dashing might be a little bit too easy. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, God damn it. What road is it? Enemies? Enemies? Everyone gets upset at me when I kill the animals, but trust me, it's not always my fault. Run, jump, stop, jump, flick, jump, flick, forward, jump, flick, forward. Can I just flick the whole time? Oh man, it's actually really tough. It's honestly really impressive that speedrunners are able to just have it down so well. It's a really awkward combination. And sometimes my flicks aren't good enough. I, I don't know. I just, I'm not good enough. I want to try. I want to train. I must become a master of the stop jump. Stop hop. I thought for some reason that was a, I was thinking that the Brahmin in that little pen are all like hostile or diseased or something. Is strafe jumping faster? There has to be a road. Yes, okay, there is a, it's this road. I thought for some reason that the boomers were about to be cut off from the road. That would have been even more disappointing. I'm going the wrong. Oh my gosh. They might be cut off. There's supposedly a road right here. <gasps> Don't do this to me. What? Nope, we're good. We're good. Crisis averted. We're all right. I had to just—I had to go satellite view for a second, but we're okay. Price is averted. I do have sleep deprivation, but fuck it, we'll go through. A sleep-deprived adrenaline junkie should have no problem getting through here. On the road again. I can't wait to something road again. Thing I love is making music with my friends. Something, something on the road again. I'm getting close. I'm getting close. All right. I actually whipped out the six string the other day to start learning that song. So I could actually start learning the, 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 the lyrics to it, figuring it out. Look at these fellas. K 
cowards. You're not real road warriors. Throw your bed on the dirt. Put it on the road like a man. Like a real survivalist. Right, one last warm up. Good to go. Whew, all right. The final road warriors challenge. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Not interested, sir. Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the Boomers? What rock have you been living under? There are a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Yeah, I'm out of here. Suit yourself. Come back and see me when you get tired of picking shrapnel out of your backside. This shouldn't be too bad. Maybe they'll just ignore me. Maybe they respect my ability to just run along the road and they go, you know what? This is a really strong fella. And honestly, we should just respect the fact that he's come in peace and will so calmly walk down the road and will just journey to go, ow. I don't think Rody's gonna have children after that one. Okay, it looks like we gotta stop up. Fine. I'll try and stop up. After I take some performance enhancing drugs. Oh my gosh. I can't do this under pressure. Jump, stop, jump, wiggle, wiggle. Ah, go, go, go. I can't do this, it's too difficult. Jesus Christ, I almost had him. But you know, you know what I noticed? When I actually did get the leap and I was able to go forward a little bit, you know, I was able to do a little bit of that action. I did notice I got some progress. I was able to avoid at least dying. far that time that's the furthest we made it all right this is gonna be really hard am i am i supposed to be wiggling that much i don't really understand how it works Damn it. It's it, like the first few jumps that I try right before I get to that road. I'm actually not bad at it, but there's like a weird loading instance. See if you guys can catch it here. It, the game will kind of hitch up as I get closer to that car right there in the road. Right there. It just did it. And then I lose any. Well, limited momentum I had. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Damn it. I stand no shot right now. Sorry. How the fuck do I get this down? 
run, jump. Oh, this is unbearable. All right, I'm going to find turbo. I give up. I give up. Not happening. I'm not teaching myself how to stop hop right now. It, it requires too much muscle memory. I just, I can't figure it out. Where can I, where can I buy turbo? If, if Dixon doesn't sell turbo. I don't think this guy will sell turbo because he's a guns vendor. No, I am. I'm giving up and I'm turning to drugs. It can be purchased in Gamora. Can't go there. The ultimate roadie challenge. Don't get blown off the road. I'm not sure if that's an innuendo or not, but it sounds like it. I'm going to steal that joke. <laughs> Still making a nuisance of yourself. This guy better have... What's it called? Oh, you, oh, Alexander, you don't have any... Oh. That is such a bummer. Honestly. A real shame. Really, it's Thanks. such a shame that you don't have any. Because I don't like your attitude, Alexander, and I never have. You like it any better if I tell you to fuck off? Oh, uh, let's go. Okay, okay. My road, Alexander. I just want you to understand. You are, and always have been, a punk bitch. Now, I know I just gave you 1,300 caps, which is the majority of my remaining money, but watching you soar and fly across the highway was the most satisfying thing that has happened to me in the 13 hours that I have been here on this road. Fuck you. Eat shit. You suck. Fuck are you looking at, kid? <laughs> what the hell are you looking at, runt? You. You're friends with this guy too, aren't you? Notice how nobody at the step. See, look, NCR guy right up there. He didn't care. He didn't seem to mind. If I can't get turbo, then I might be completely screwed. I guess one of the best ways I could try to get turbo or cheese turbo is the the various raider spawns kind of along the highway. The, okay, this is embarrassing. Like we we know that there's a few places where the raiders will spawn. Raiders, Legion, they have to eventually drop turbo. It's got to be in their loot tables. I think that's where I got turbo the first time I had it was from a Legion soldier. It's actually insanity that there's no fast travel points right over there. So we have to take this road all the way back on foot to hopefully kill some NCR or um, uh, Legion soldiers on the road, be able to loot them, and then hope that they have turbo on them. I got turbo, really, I got turbo from powder gangers? What if I have some in my inventory and I just missed it? All right, no, I don't. Jumping around. 
knowing that I can't stop hop. Mm. I just want to be able to do it. Like the kid at the pool that can't swim and he's stuck wearing floaties, but everyone else can. They're doing butterfly stroke. Freestyle, whatever it's called. I'm stuck here doggy paddling, wading across the top of the water with my floaties. Like, what an embarrassment. I've brought shame upon my family and my life vest. They're playing basketball in the deep end. I'm standing on the stairs, barely even thigh deep in the water. But I'm too afraid. I can't commit. You can't throw me into the deep end again. It's too scary. I'll flounder. There's no way there's nothing here. Come on now. Uh, oh, all right. We got NCR soldiers right there. I was wondering where that camp was. Still can't do it. Oh, there we go. Little one. I have surfaced. I was able to go up for air, but then I fell back to the bottom of the pool again. Fair play. That counts. Don't tell anybody. Montresor, congratulations on spending 20,000 channel points on... I need to have a button where I can press it right there. Dun, 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 dun. Absolutely nothing. I should make that. All right, I gotta be able to get these knuckleheads' attention. Hey! <gasps> we got him. What if I what if I kill the prisoner? If I can kill the powder ganger, then it should bring the rest of them. Would you quit shooting me? I'm trying to kill your prisoner. All right, as long as he just gets closer to the road, it's all fine by me. All right, got him. How the hell did these idiots not notice? Boot on quest fail. <laughs> That's funny. Finally, another quest failed. I feel like I'm achieving an objective whenever I fail a quest. No turbo. I'm a god. No turbo, I'm sadly. I'm Mech! A god. What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting to do the downtown New Vegas dance moves. Mickey, thank you. I appreciate it. How'd your stream go earlier? Uh, also, happy birthday, Shampies. Happy birthday. Right. Did you did you listen to the new Young Scrolls? Tell me it's not the most fucking insane thing you've ever seen. I was I was mind blown. Every single frame of that video was impressive. Okay, it's going to be a one shot if I shoot him. I could try an explosive round. I don't want to execute the entire camp. I just want to like make noise. Like if I shoot near them and damage them, Wait. Oh. See, that's the problem. They're just going to all explode. This one doesn't seem to mind. Oh, God. Now everyone, now everyone at the camp is just gone. Fantastic. Oh, I'm really good at this job. Mick, we need some help. Okay. I need turbo. I can't stop hop. I suck at it. I stink at it. I just can't figure it out. I can occasionally get it to work. Like there. I got that a few times in a row, but I have to do it 20 to 25, 30 times in a row, however long it takes to get past all of the boomers' explosives. 
And I just can't right now. A uh, big group of Night Stalkers going up there. Might as well just get to level 14 since I'm really close. Howdy, troops. How are we? How we doing? How's patrol going? Hey, you guys enjoying the road? Why don't you go join the rest of the human trash across the river? Oh, that was embarrassing. That was really embarrassing. I thought that was going to be so cool. What was the first game I ever got 100% in? That's a tough one. I, d I don't think I've ever officially gotten 100% in any game, but if I had to pick one that I was probably the closest, it would be Fallout 3. I remember I played Fallout 3 or Oblivion. I remember I played Fallout 3 and Oblivion when I was younger, and... I did so much in Fallout 3 at one point that I was kind of doing what we're doing now. I was just fast traveling around the map to places where I knew enemies would respawn, like by the river near the first Super Duper Mart you go to. And that was just all my gameplay. It was just bopping around to different locations and kind of just expecting or hoping that enemies would pop up and I can shoot at them. I did so much in that game. I did everything basically. Except, and this is gonna, this is gonna, you know, be pretty controversial. Except, I never, ever, and still to this day haven't completed Point Lookout. I believe I've done every other Fallout 3 DLC, and I just never got around to it when it came out. I was, you know, I was really young, and the only way I could play the DLC was if I got Microsoft points to do it. And by the time Point Lookout had come out, I was kind of moving on from the game onto just like other games, or I think I was playing, I, I don't really remember. I think I was just done playing the game by the time I would have, you know, had the funds to get Point Lookout. Also, that's just ridiculously stupid. These explosive rounds are, it's so dumb. We're broken now at this point. Barter 80. Center of mass. What do we have? You don't fool around with fancy trick shots. Straight to the midsection and down they go. And that's you get an initial 15% damage with attacks targeting the torso. That's really good. Adamantium skeleton, since we're on hardcore mode, is probably pretty good. What was I going to take before? I could take fun. If you take Mysterious Stranger and Misfortune, do you have increased chance or can you have both of them appear at once? But I'm going to take Finesse. Let's just stockpile as many critical hits as we can. Finesse plus luck level 10 is probably about as broken as we can get. I honestly don't remember. I think it, it, when I was playing, I was in eighth grade at the time, so I was still pretty young. Um, but when I played Fallout 3 and I was like super, super into it, I remember having enough Microsoft points to play Anchorage. I absolutely remember Broken Steel. Broken Steel was the one that I wanted the most. I couldn't get all the DLC. I couldn't play all the DLC. But I wanted Broken Steel, obviously, so I could play you know after the main story ended and get the extra levels and stuff like that i was hoping we would have legion here this is a legion spawn definitely seen them here but they're not here now all right so somebody mentioned that powder gangers powder gangers is where i got turbo I gotta sleep. Let's go sleep. Right, hopefully not be put to sleep in real life. All 
Alright, I, I know there's a closer bed than this one. Trading post 188. That's where the easiest bed to sleep on is. I just keep forgetting. Oh, you know what? You know what my big mistake is? Okay. Here's, here's what's going to happen. And here's how we'll be able to do it. So we have mapped out now. One, two, three, four... Basically four powder ganger spawns. There's two by where the death claws initially are. There's four that are at that house by where the other death claws were. There's two here. There's one behind me. Well, actually, one of them that we kill here doesn't actually have anything on them. They just have their clothes. But there's two more down there down the road. So we should be able to kill about eight powder gangers every time all the spawns refresh. It probably takes about three in-game days for them to refresh. So let's go to, let's go to Novak. I should be able to sell off a good amount of stuff to the doctor, obviously. Use the doctor to supplement food. We're good on food. Water if we need it. She probably won't refresh on water, but we have ways of getting water. We have a few more vendors now. So let's just go here and chill. Try to wait three in-game days. And then we should be able to get the uh, all the spawns back. Is there any truth to the rumor that Turkey Stick was a synth? <laughs> who's, who's starting these bullshit rumors? This is slander upon my name. I like how I don't have sleep deprivation after standing in one spot for 24 hours. Fair and balanced. Don't you walk away, doctor. You stay right there. Mm. Mm. What can I do for you? T -t -t turbo, no turbo. Doctor, you really disappoint me. on a frequency that is incredibly concerning. Another satisfied customer. I have a feeling though, if we just sit here for three in-game days, that the spawns aren't going to reset. That's what I'm worried about. I don't want them to completely refresh. So now we're just gonna hang out. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna chill. Maybe the doctor has turbo? Discover Hidden Valley. I don't... I think we've been to Hidden Valley. I can't go far enough in to discover it. Camel of the... Ooh, what is that perk? Camel of the Mojave. Your frequent water consumption has led to improved benefits from drinking hydrating fluids. Would have been nice to have this earlier. So now it's 121. It's pretty good. Remember it used to be 87? So it's about a 50% buff that we've collected so far, upgrading in the survival skill and now getting that perk. If the doctor's inventory refreshes, then it should okay, be a pretty clear sign that the spawns will. Okay. <gasps> Took! T -t -t turbo yes thank you doctor oh you just made my day i am uh, that's all the confirmation i needed i just needed to know that you would have some turbo thank you ma'am 
Well, if I can't beat the boomers with... <laughs> Oh, if I can't beat the boomers with athletic ability, I might as well use performance-enhancing drugs. Oh, God, I have to do the whole walk again? That's ridiculous. There's no discoverable locations here? That is beyond annoying. Would I consider doing this challenge in Fallout 3? Probably not. And not at least right now. I don't know how feasible it is in Fallout 3. Okay, let's check out this vendor. Hey there. You okay, he does not have turbo. I will become Turbo Man. That's a completely unique superhero name, right? Yes, I'm Turbo Man. No reason at all why I would say it in a really shitty Arnold Schwarzenegger voice. Now I came up with it here on the stream. First you're ever hearing about Turbo Man. I can't believe I have to do the whole walk. This is ridiculous. I've cheated myself out of it. And I know, somebody did say earlier, but you need two, two turbo to do it. I don't care. I'm going to do it with one turbo. You know why? Because I'm that dude. Or, Rody is that dude. Wait, Kenny, you've never seen... You've never seen Jingle All the Way? Inarguable. Top five Christmas movie. Easily. And am I saying that off of pure nostalgia? Not because I've watched it recently and can confirm that it is pretty good? Yes. Does that matter? No. It's Christmas movies. Christmas movies, whenever you're talking about the best Christmas movies ever, it's all based on vibes. That's all. You know what Christmas movie I did watch recently? Because I wanted to be one of those trendy, oh, Die Hard is totally a Christmas movie. We watched Die Hard last Christmas. I'm not going to lie. I thought it sucked. <laughs> I thought it was not very good. But I wanted to be like, oh, Die Hard's actually a Christmas movie. I wanted, I wanted to be one of those guys. But I'm not going to lie. At this point, I don't think I'm one of those guys. Howdy. Oh, shut up. You know exactly what you're getting me into. Okay, we finally made the track all the way back here. <sighs> Turbo activate. I probably took it way too early, didn't I? Oh, God. Explosions are on the way. This is strange. Oh, my God. Really? It wore off already? This is fine. They're not getting closer. Go! Did I make- No! I thought I was there! <laughs> what the hell was that? That was such a tease. It went completely silent. It ooh, there was no noise. I can't believe that. I was so bought in. Like, I made it. I did it. This is a pog moment. First one's not gonna hit me. Now we'll throw it on. Okay, that's all right. Slight concussion, broken arm. We can do this. Go, 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 run. Why aren't you trying to stop Popple in slow motion? Because shut up, that's why. Come on, Rody, you can do this. Every oh. Ooh. Whew. All right. Ow, my head. Hold it right there. 
Don't you move. Uh, can I at least take some for this headache? <laughs> How the hell did you survive? Uh, drugs. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Drugs. Are you even human? Some kind of mutant? Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. I am. A courier. I'm, I'm a glorified mailman. That's honestly why I'm here. Yeah, you really think I'm scared of you, punk? Watch your mouth, savage. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. Guys, can I please I'm take Raquel, something from my migraine? Now I'm just staring at a really bright Mother pole. Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. All right, lead the way. Follow close and mind your behavior. Finally, get me out of this. Uh, whoa! Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? Ma'am! I've been waiting a good five years. No! Uh, 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 uh. Hello. I better walk out of this building, and the door to this place better be directly on the road, or I'm gonna be really, really upset with everyone in here. Because you just forcefully took me out of the challenge. Hey. You sons of bitches. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Huh? Just drag me out of the game like that? This is not a failed challenge. Ow, my head. No, 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 no. That's not how things work around here, okay? I win. Those are the rules. I cannot, I, I can't believe that happened. Let's go, man. Move it, move it, move it. Go, Rody. Your life depends on this. Oh, shit, that's close. Are we good? Are we good? We in the clear? All right, we're in the... What the hell, guys? Jeez. That was unnecessary. Come on, I did all the hard work. You can't just hit me late like that. That's a foul. That's against the rules. At least I'm alive, and at least it didn't knock me off the road, so I don't have to restart. I was able to just barely, barely hold on to the edge of the road there. Okay, now I'm gonna quick save before I talk to this idiot again at the gate. Let me just at least make sure I'm prepared for, you know, all outcomes here. I'm not sure how this is going to go down. Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? I already answered this question. Drugs. I'm not telling you a thing, savage. He said that as a compliment, actually. Dude, you're so savage. How'd you get across the road like that? <laughs> Once again, drugs. Then just, just. All right, Raquel. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, master at arms for the Nellis homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. All right. I'm leaving. That's the right answer here. I'm leaving. Unacceptable. You've made it this far, probed our defenses, seen our faces. Mother Pearl's invitation is mandatory, not optional. There's no way it's going to lock me into this. As I said, she is our eldest. Mother Pearl has lived at Nellis from the start and has the wisdom of her age. She said... Yeah, I think I'll be leaving still. I told you, Mother Pearl's invitation is not optional. That is ridiculous, Raquel. Well, my lifestyle is not optional either. All right? This is a no-fly zone for me. You have gone out of bounds in my moral compass. I have not agreed to these terms. In fact... I think it's time I boom on you g Okay, no. Awful, awful. I mean, just, just terrible. Objectively bad. Where's this little prick that's about to run around the corner and surprise me? Come on. 
Come on. Ring it. I know you're about to run around that corner. Oh, I stopped him in his tracks. The bullet vip, right past his nose. He doesn't want any of this. Oh. Hold on. Hey, let me just... Ow. Real quick, and we'll just... We'll reset. That can't be a thing. Are they invincible? Oh, no, they're not invincible. They're actually pretty easy to kill. I think that one might be invincible. Come on, Mother Pearl. You want to ruin my ch challenge? If someone would open this gate, that'd be pretty cool. What if I run away? <laughs> idiot. Why won't you die? Oh, he is invincible. I can't believe I've been cheated by this game. This is so unfair. I hate this. This is so unfair. I can't run away either. I'll just get blown up. All right, fine. 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 You know what? The boomers can live. The boomers can survive. All good. Whatever. I don't care. I'm not upset. Fence isn't bulletproof, but that one character is. Ugh. Well, this was kind of a frustrating end to this whole thing. Is there anything that I could possibly be missing? I mean, we checked out Quarry Junction. It's kind of off limits. We were able to take out a lot of Death Claws. Honestly, let's do a final stat check. I have Speed Cripple on. Am I moving fast? I can't tell if I'm moving faster or not. It doesn't feel like it. Okay, quest completed one. <laughs> I don't think we did com I don't think we completed any. 52 locations discovered, 187 people killed, 233 creatures killed, so 220 400 we're really ending on 420 uh enemy kills. Two locks picked, no computers hacked, clearly. 33 stim packs. That's not a lot. We only took 33 stim packs, 23 chems. I didn't really take that many chems. Speech success, three, eight mines disarmed. Pockets picked zero, pants exploded, two. When did we explode somebody's pants? Wait, how the hell is my karma good? <laughs> how did I end with good karma? Uh, there's no explanation for it. Zero. I've murdered way too many people, a lot. That's been my solution to every single problem. Health from Stimpaks, 1767, almost 1776. That would have been fun. Health from food, 1485. I, I slept seven times. The whole time on hardcore mode, I only ever had to go to the bathroom. Not the bathroom, go to bed. Well, I guess depending on your age, maybe both are at the same time. 17 corpses eaten. 19 doctor bags, 16 challenges, that's actually pretty good, 51 disintegrations, 30, we, oh, we crippled our own limbs 30 times, one speech failure, shows how much dialogue we were able to actually find, items repaired, 184, dismembered limbs, uh, zero, YouTube, terms of service, barter amount traded, 30, so we dealt in total 31,000 caps worth of goods. Whimsy or Liam, thank you for the uh, 100 bits. Whimsy, thank you for the prime. And Bradster, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. So it, it certainly was, honestly, like if I reviewed this challenge in terms of how fun it was, I would say it was really fun 
It was very, very fun on the bottom half of the map. The bottom half of the map was really good. The top half of the map got frustrating, grindy. Really, the only solution to any issues there was to just shoot things. Which, I mean, is fun. It's fun to blow stuff up. Don't get me wrong. But when that's the only solution we have, it's a little... Mm. And maybe part of that's on me because I was a little impatient just with how the challenge was going. It, it was in a lot of ways just kind of a slog to kind of get through. Sheep, how are you? What's going on? We're, we're kind of just finishing up this challenge. We're wrapping it up. Let's... I'm going to save my character here. How much time did we spend on this character? What was our what was our total time? 13 and a half hours. I don't remember it taking that long. But let's let's go to our map. Oh, whoops. Just did something. So I think I want to finish up this map and just put some final touches on it. We got all these roads. Let's just fill in the blanks. That road is technically gone. Hence the broken stick right here where the road breaks. We were able to get all the way to right here. I guess we technically... If you th oh gosh, that is ugly. Fill in the lines properly. Come on, quit getting lazy with it. We did miss these two little roads here. But escaping from the boomers, that's credit enough. We definitely hit this road. Certainly hit this road. It ends up getting cut off like right there. Took that one. We did take this one today. We went all the way to this edge of the map. All the way out here. Not right now. Not right now, Dead Rising. I don't even think that one's a road because sharecropper farms is right here. It's like a game of Pac-Man. All of this stuff right in here, this little neighborhood was so uneventful. All the neighborhoods by Vegas were really uneventful. Kind of a bummer. Oh, <gasps> Oh my god, <laughs> I just deleted the whole thing. Fill this one in. Boom. Boom. I know I'm, I'm getting a little bit lazy with my line filling in. Oh my gosh, I'm getting really bad. Come on, it's got to look good. We went all the way. This was the edge of the map. We came all the way to the furthest corner of the map before we went up to Jacobstown and a whole lot of nothing happened to Jacobstown. I forgot about our little mantis friend that we met up here. I feel bad. I wonder what he's up to now. Right around, right around here, we ran into that little mantis. 
seemed like a really nice guy. He was adorable. I actually don't think we took this road up here. This big northern road. It hugs the rocks up here. And I think somewhere along this group of rocks is where you have the entrance to the Honest Hearts DLC. But we came up into this area enough times. If I have to run around that area one more time, I'm going to be really sad. Uh, oh, of course. I wonder why this road is an orange. It's not meant to be an orange. But we did end up passing and taking out the Death Claws. Credit where credit's due. Came all the way down here. I believe this is the prison. I know we took we I know we took some road that shot way off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gotta go to the correctional facility. NCCRF. Or NCCRCF. Here, now we get into, like, Deathclaw Central. All up in here. Absolutely obliterated them all. Wasn't even close. I feel like most of the songs in my chill playlist are not that chill. Dead Rising Spit Only Challenge. Also, Bradster, thank you for stopping by. A no pip boy challenge. Council come in to disable it. I wonder how that would happen. Gordon Ramsay? Is that the real Gordon Ramsay? No shot. Thank you. I appreciate the kind words. And thank you for watching the channel. If anybody is stopping by and it's their first stream, welcome and thank you for stopping by. We're kind of wrapping this one up. It was, I'll have to start going through the footage or going through the footage more than I was. Wait a minute. That's not an actual road. That's a railroad. So that one doesn't really count. We don't need to mark it. We did come by this road. We took this road kind of early on. It merges with another one. This is the side road where right here you've got that little house that the Powder Gangers hang out at. And then up here you've got another house where Powder Gangers hang out at. We exploded them fairly easily. Some of these I think we hit on another stream. We just didn't really go through and clear them all, check them all off. But we pretty much hit every major thing that we could in New Vegas. Or you know what? I think this is the road. No, no, no. Wait, this one connects with. There might be a nothing there. A few of these roads that are on the map aren't actually roads. Like this one right here, I think is nothing. Because it hits Camp McCarran. I think we took this road here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the main drag by McCarran. And we did hit this. Or this could be... This might be the backside of McCarran. I'm taking credit for it either way. Here's where that road cuts off. Breaks off right there. Here's where all the Cazadors are. Took them out really easily. The Cazadors and the Death Claws, while I did die quite a few times, as long as I landed shots, they went down pretty easily. They, they were really soft, actually. There we go. I think that's all of them.
We definitely came down here. This is Camp Searchlight. We went all the way to the end of the road in that town a couple streams ago. All right. NCRCF. I had that. All right. I had that messed up earlier. Oh, Bradster, no worries. Thickly, good to see you. How are you? When is Skyrim returning? Oh, I mean, it'll always be, you know, a part of the channel. It'll always be there. When will the new stream be? You mean like the next challenge? Not 100%. That song, that music was kind of sad. <laughs> Hooray! Challenge complete! That's all I got. I, I really, it is weird. I don't like, I don't like ending a challenge on a bleh, meh, kind of disappointing run. Or like, I like when a challenge kind of ends off on something awesome. Or something that's just like, really, really exciting. But I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we tried it and got it out of the way. I think there's a lot more compelling stuff kind of towards the beginning of this challenge than there was later in the challenge. I don't think I want to do without leaving the roads again. It's it it was kind of frustrating in this one. I don't really know how it would play out in Fallout 3. It it would be decent probably. It couldn't be too bad. But I don't think I want to just immediately redo this concept in Fallout 3. I think I would rather if we do Fallout 3, I would rather do Downtown DC. I would also rather do Morrowind without leaving the roads first before Fallout 3. Morrowind, it could be pretty fun. Mick, you want to multiplayer it? But Fallout 3 DC could be really fun. Because in, in DC, you've got the metros, the enemies are tougher, the combat encounters could be really, you know, fun to go through. I think Morrowind without leaving the road would be better than Vivek. Vivek has been suggested the most. But the road in Morrowind, it goes through the whole map. It's perfect for it. At least I think it is. All right. Who, who do I? Who's live? Who's live? Da, da, da. Let's raid out. Where should we go? Does anybody have any suggestions? Also, Fatboy asked, how hard is this challenge? It wasn't too bad. There were a couple of tough moments. But other than that, it was not bad at all. Let's find someone playing. Let's see if there's anybody playing Fallout 3. There's a couple. All right, is any yeah, is anyone playing Morrowind right now? Oh, perfect. Okay, I found I found a perfect one. Uh, they're doing a, a charity stream, 1 million gold challenge run in Morrowind. So I'm going to send you over to Nebulous Idea. Remember when you get into their stream, be kind, be respectful. Don't backseat them like crazy. Come on. Be kind. And we'll talk soon.
Hopefully we can have this uploaded on the channel by the end of next week. Oh, I will, by the way, everybody, just real quick before I go. I'm going to be displaced out of my office for a couple of days. The contractors that are doing work at the house I live in are going to have to basically knock out a wall in the basement I'm in because they're putting in an egress window. It's one of those windows that like digs in and looks into a basement from the outside. I have no choice. I can't get around it. I can't, you know, reschedule it for when I'll eventually be leaving this place. So it will displace me for a few days. I'll try and keep you guys posted on that. Otherwise, thank you very much. Thank you for watching the channel. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you all. We'll talk soon.